Hey guys, and welcome back to Serials, the PNN webcast series that chronicles your stories. I'm really happy that you're here today, because I'm really happy to be here today, just like every day, of course. Today we're talking to Sarah Vonderhaar. She was one of my favorite contestants on Cycle 8 of America's Next Top Model, and now she is about to release a CD that I'm really excited about. It's called, Are You Listening Now? And we are listening right now, just so you all know. We're listening to a song called, I Got Sunshine. It's on her new album. So, let's get going. Let's get chatting with Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah Vonderhaar, um, talking to you for PNN Network, uh, and I'm very excited to be with you guys today. Great. Well, we're really excited to have you here. Um, so, Sarah, my first question for you is this. Um, how did you go from being an actress to a photographer to a model to America's Next Top Model contestant to a musician? <laughs> it's kind of a crazy uh, transition there. Um, but, yeah, I, I started doing photography when I was probably about 14 and when I was in high school. So that's when I started doing that. And then when I was about 17, I went. To, I actually did a hair show with my best friend Liz. And I was like, I really like this modeling stuff. So I, you know, I decided, you know, I did all my research online and decided to go to a few open castings for agencies. So and then I, I first one I went to I went to a casting for or an open call for Elite, and got signed when I was 17. And then um, you know I was still doing my photography at the time. So when I was about what was it was 20 I believe 19 or 20, I went to um, a casting call for America's Next Top Model to um, to just promote my photography. And the the people the, the casting director came up to me and said, Are you here to audition? And I'm like, No. <laughs> So, uh, but then, you know, I said, I'm already signed. I don't know if I can. And, you know, he, he's like, no, 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 you know, you should definitely audition. So I did, and that was for Cycle 7. And then um, I actually did not get on Cycle 7, but got a call back from the producers asking me if um, I would like to audition for Cycle 8. So I did that, and then I was on Top Model. <laughs> so that was kind of crazy. But um, from a music front, I've been playing guitar since I was 12, you know, on and off. And it was about probably a few months even before I auditioned for Tom Model or anything, I had met my manager who um, who kind of pushed me into saying, like, why, why aren't you doing music for a living? Why aren't you performing? And I'm like, well, I, I didn't know how to, you know. So um, kind of pushed me, and then I got the call for Top Model. So it kind of all just came together. <laughs> all right. So you have a debut album coming out, correct? Mm -hmm. It's called Are You Listening? And when does it come out? Um, the album comes out April 2008. Okay. And it'll be available on uh, my MySpace as well as my website. That'll be up shortly. Okay. So um, what would you kind of, this is kind of a broad question, but what would you say this album is about? I think that this album is... The albums that I really love listening to are albums that I throw on in the car oh. and they just put me in just kind of this happy mood, no matter what mood I'm in, just kind of, you know, get me dancing a little bit in my car. So that was kind of my goal with the new record, you know, is to to really have these upbeat songs but still have the songs that will touch you emotionally. Like I have a few songs for breakups and I have a very personal song um, that's the title track to the record, Are You, are you Listening Now, that's about... Um, come to terms with uh, my father passing. So I think that it's kind of just a collection of upbeat, you know, happy rock songs with, you know, the singer-songwriter emotional lyrics, probably. And you do, you write um, most of your own lyrics, don't you? Correct. There's only two songs that I didn't write on the record, and that's Just Go and I Got Sunshine, but my producer wrote them. Oh, Okay. So do you think of yourself more as a lyricist or a singer or, like, what aspect of music do you identify with most? Um, I would say a performer. Just, I, I love getting on stage, but I'm definitely the lyricist. I, I love writing. I've been writing, um, I've been writing lyrics since I was probably, as soon as I got my first Ibanez guitar. <laughs> so, um, 
But, yeah, you know, probably the lyricist as well. My mother is an English teacher, so I do a lot of writing with her, too, which helps. And I um, always had that kind of, you know, that pushing on me as well with my mo- that influence, I should say, um, of my mother being the English teacher. But I don't know. I, I love being on stage rocking out. I love, I don't know, I love writing. I, I love singing. So it's kind of it's hard to, to pinpoint exactly which, which thing I love the most. So has, um, you said you started playing guitar when you were 12. Mm-hmm. Um, has your preference or taste in music evolved since then with what you like to play? Um, tremendously. <laughs> uh, I've gone, like when I was 12, 13, I was huge into punk rock, like huge into punk rock music. I, I went to a Pennywise concert and, you know, some 41 and Good Charlotte and all that stuff. So, But I think as I as I matured and got older, I got more into that singer-songwriter kind of style in, you know, listening to Sheryl Crow and, and, you know, really getting into the Beatles and Paul McCartney and, and everything like that. So I definitely think that I've evolved tremendously in my musical, excuse me, in my musical taste <laughs> from when I first started. Well, I'm sure we, uh, hopefully we all evolved <laughs> yeah. from the time we were 12. <laughs> I still listen to punk rock, though. I love it. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> um, so to sum up, I have this for you. Um, it's pretty clear that you seem to kind of do it all in the arts arena um, with, with all your experience and different aspects of it. Um, what's next for you after your album comes out? Well, um, after the album comes out, I just I plan on touring and, and really supporting the album. I think that music is definitely my calling. I, I, I love expression through creativity, and that's kind of how I've always... I've always, you know, excelled in anything with the arts, be it my photography, my drawings, my, you know, modeling is, I guess, sort of an art form as well, you know. But I really think that this music is my calling right now and definitely going to stick with it and keep on writing and and touring, basically. I love touring, so. Well, great. Well, we can't wait to hear your new album. Thank you. Um, And is there anything else that you would like to add before we go? Just that um, they check out my MySpace. It's myspace.com slash Sarah Vonderhaar. And make sure to keep an eye out for tour dates as well. We're going to be hopefully announcing a bunch of new, a bunch of new tour dates uh, around the U.S. And, um, and then check out the record. Um, it'll be out April 2008. And that's on sarahvonderhaar.com. Great. Well, thanks so much, Sarah. Thank you so much, Jamie, for having me. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.